Before this video starts, I just want to say quickly, if you're watching this in the first few hours of the video going up, I'm going to be live on Kick. Uh, it's my first ever stream on Kick and my first stream in a very long time with face cam. I'll probably look a lot different from the last time you saw me because I haven't shaved my face in like four months and I'm sick, but I don't give a fuck. Come hang out. Come have fun. I'm stoked. If you're hearing this later and I'm not live anymore, drop a follow. I'll be live on there in the future a bunch, so follow to get notified. And anyway, enjoy the video, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So yesterday's story time was kind of like a story about my ex that was a pretty good one. It wasn't about a crazy ex or anything like that. And I think it's time for one of those. Now, this story time takes place just a few months ago. It was the middle of March. I was in my room finishing up a YouTube video, just kind of relaxing, not doing a whole lot, right? And I got a text from one of my friends. We'll just call his friend Eric, okay? My homie Eric texts me. And Eric has been someone I've been friends with for years. I've known him since middle school. Good dude. No problems with Eric. And he hits me up and he asked me if I wanted to meet his new girlfriend. Eric had been single for years. So when he said that he had a girlfriend, I was like, huh, that's that's interesting. Usually this motherfucker doesn't want to date anybody. Eric was not one of those people that like couldn't get a girlfriend. He just didn't want one. Like genuinely. Like he had girls that wanted to date him. He just didn't want to date people. He was all about just working and not putting his time into anything else. But yeah, I was excited to hear that Eric had a girlfriend, one that he was taking seriously. So yeah, I was stoked, right? Now, even though me and Eric have been friends for years, like I said, since middle school, there's been like a year or two period where we've both been really busy or I was living in LA or he was living somewhere else for college. Like we've had our periods where we're not hanging out that much. We still text and we still like keep in touch here and there, but like we didn't hang out every day for years on end. So, there was parts of my life that Eric missed, and parts of his life that I missed. And you're probably wondering, Austin, why are you telling us this? Well, you're about to find out. So, later that day, Eric invites me over to his house to hang out with him, and his new girlfriend. And I went over there, expecting to meet this girl I've never seen before. And when I walked into his house, I walked into a situation that nobody wants to walk into. I see Eric and my ex-girlfriend sitting at the dinner table together, waiting for me to come in. And I walk into the room after getting to his house and I was like oh what's up guys and she looks at me with the dirtiest look ever I look at her with the dirtiest look ever we didn't end things back in the day on good terms so we didn't really like each other and Eric could tell something was wrong he was like is everything okay like do you all know each other or something and I was like Eric do you know that I used to date her and he's like what it was so fucking awkward he's like no 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 you're fucking with me right I was like, nah, dude, I'm not. Like, we dated for, like, a few months. He's like, what? He couldn't believe it. Now, I wasn't mad at Eric. I genuinely think he didn't know. I, I don't think he knew. Because, like, the three-month period that I dated her, Eric was away at college, and, like, I wasn't talking to him super frequently at that point. So he probably just had no idea. But my ex, on the other hand, I had talked about Eric hundreds of times. I've shown her photos of us. Like, she knew what Eric looked like. So I just don't believe, to this day... That, like, she started dating one of my best friends without knowing it was one of my best friends. But she tried to play it off like she didn't know. Literally, she was like, I had no idea you guys were friends, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, really? I've told you about him before. And she's like, well, I don't remember. And I was like, okay. And yeah, needless to say, it was just awkward as fuck, right? Now, even though it was awkward and weird and I didn't like the situation, Eric was still dating her. I didn't really care about that. Like, better him than me. I don't really want to be in that relationship ever again. So, like, if he sees something in her that I don't, great, right? So, I didn't care. And I tried to make the best of the situation. I tried to, like, you know, wipe the mean look off my face and, like, try and be friendly. But the whole day of being there, like, from us getting food to, like, chilling on the couch, like, she was just being really rude to me. So, fast forward to the end of the day slash night when it was time for me to go home. I got up off the couch. I said bye to Eric. I said bye to her. And I walked out, right? And I go back to my house. I get inside. And I'm emptying my pockets on my bed. Just like ready to lay down. Just get some sleep. And uh, all of a sudden, I notice something. I empty out my one pocket. And my phone and my keys are in there. But my other pocket's empty. And that's the pocket I always keep my wallet in. And I was like, huh. Maybe it's in the car. So I run outside. I check my car. Nothing. I go back inside. I check the kitchen. I check the living room. I'm checking my whole house. Like just seeing if I left it anywhere, right? And I end up ripping apart my entire house looking for it for like an hour and a half. And I just can't find it. So I call up Eric and I was like, yo, did my wallet happen to fall out on your couch? He's like, let me check real quick. He goes and checks, doesn't find anything. At this point, I'm thinking like, okay, it's got to be somewhere in my house. Maybe I didn't even bring it to Eric's house, right? So I'm looking around my house for like another 30 minutes, can't find shit. 
I call him back. I was like, yo, can you check the front door or something? Like maybe I left it at the table at the front door. And he's like, nah, man, I'm looking. I can't find anything. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, where did my wallet go? And I tell him, thank you. And I go back to looking for it. And for two days, I can't find this shit, right? And I'm getting worried. But I don't cancel my cards or anything because there's no activity on them. No one's buying anything. Nothing's going on. So I'm thinking it's got to be somewhere in my house. Because if someone stole it, they would have bought something by now. It's been two days. So I look all that day, still can't find anything. And then on the third day, just as I'm about to give up and like, you know, just order all new cards and new ID and stuff, uh, I get a notice on my phone from my bank saying, did you make this purchase? And I look and I shit you not, it is a $500 purchase at a makeup store. Now, if you've been watching me for a while and you follow me on Instagram and know what I look like, uh, I don't wear makeup. So I didn't buy any makeup. So I'm freaking out now, right? Because now I know someone has my wallet. So I go on my bank app. I freeze all my cards. I like cancel everything and I order new ones. And I'm starting to think, okay, who could it be? And I start kind of retracing my steps about what I did the last few days. And the thought popped in my head. I was like, wait a minute. What if I did leave it at Eric's house and his girl picked it up, my ex, and like bought some shit with it? And I was like, nah, nah, nah. Like she's evil, but she's not that evil. Like that's next level evil. Definitely not her, right? So I go about like my thoughts. I'm like, okay, if it's not her, like what else did I do? I got pizza a couple days before that. Like maybe I left it at the pizza place, but like, nah, I was like, no, cause I used it the day after that somewhere else. Like it could be anywhere. Right. So I pretty much just gave up. I knew that I wasn't going to find who did it, but I at least wanted to try and get my money back. So I went into my bank and I went and told them what happened and they were able to like cancel the charge. Like they contacted the merchant, the store, and they got them to cancel the charge and like refund the order before it shipped. So I was able to get my money back. And at this point, I'm like, okay, well, I got my money back. I didn't find out who did it, but at least I'm going to get my money back, right? Well, right as I leave the bank, right as I'm walking out, I get a call from my friend Eric and I answer the phone and I was like, hello. And he's like, dude, fuck that girl. And I was like, what girl? He's like, you know who? And I was like, what? What do you mean? He's like, bro, I found your wallet. You dropped it in the couch and she took it without me seeing and started buying some shit with it. She admitted everything to me. I got it back from her. I dumped her ass. You want your wallet back? And I think to myself two things. The first thing being, fuck, I already canceled all of my cards, but at least I'll get my ID back. But then second, I was like, huh, that girl is a dickhead. Like, what the fuck? And I told my friend, I was like, yo, man, I'm so sorry. Like, if you need anything, Eric, I got you. He's like, nah, man, that's good. She just, she was a red flag from the start. I should have listened. Like my family, my friends, they were all saying she was bad news, but I didn't listen. And I was like, well, man, you live and you learn. At least you didn't date her for a year or three months. Like my dumb ass. He's like, yeah, man, that's true. So after I get done talking to Eric, I text my ex-girlfriend and I was like, hey, Eric just told me what you did. Guess what? You committed a crime. If I really wanted to be a dickhead right now, I could probably get you charged with something. And she responded immediately and was like, Austin, please, my day's been bad enough. Like, don't do that. And I was like, are you really trying to play victim? Like, your day's been rough when you stole $500 from me? And she was like, no, I got dumped and this happened and this happened. And she told me a bunch of stuff. And I wasn't even going to get her in trouble. I was just kind of trolling because I was mad about what happened. But I basically ended up just telling her, like, yo, never do that again to anybody. Like, not just me, like, anybody. Because, like, they might not be as nice as me, and they can get you thrown in jail. Because, like, if I would have just not canceled my card right away, she probably would have kept buying stuff and racked up a huge bill. And I think if it's over $1,000, it's considered grand larceny, which is a pretty serious charge. And it can just get worse and worse from there. So, yeah, she's lucky that I canceled the card. And that I was nice about it because I could have been a dickhead. But yeah, guys, moral of the story is don't be like my ex and steal from people. That's not cool. And that's it, really. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.